Hey, Christian, could you be quiet for a few minutes? Are you ready? <laughs> no, I just sit here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, District of South Carolina. This is Tom Holloway. I'm Pastor Tom Holloway. This is my wife, Kim. And, and Leo. And Leo, the nicest member of our family. Uh, we have three kids, uh, Taylor, Christian, and Jackson, and we'll be moving to take on uh, Faith Wesleyan Church down in Little River, and we're really excited about that, and uh, we're really excited to see what God's going to do there, and yet a little nervous too. We have all our boxes getting ready to move. We'll be moving uh, the 1st of August, and so hopefully we will see you next year at District Conference. And so uh, I learned the three B's of public speaking. Uh, be brief, be brilliant, and be seated. So I'm seated, and I can't be brilliant, so I will do my best to be brief. Uh, DS Buddy asked me if I would talk just a few minutes about uh, what the church would look like down in, in Little River at Faith. And I just wanted to tell you just a quick story about a guy in our church up here in Michigan whose name is Stephen. Uh, Stephen had never attended church before, and some friends of his that were mid-20s had been attending our church for about a month. They were looking to get married, and so they were really looking for a place, that a church that would be a nice background for their wedding. And so they started attending our church, and pretty soon they fell in love with it, and they invited Stephen to come to our church. And so Stephen came to church, and a few weeks later, after attending church, he raised his hand to accept Christ into his life. And uh, about a month later, he was baptized. And so I met with Stephen just to talk to him about the decision that he made. And uh, he was telling me that our church is a place where he just felt instantly comfortable. And what was so ironic is that he is becoming the person that he typically makes fun of, those people that are sold out Jesus followers and they come would rather go to church than sleep in on a Sunday morning. And so he's just really turned his life around and the God and the Holy Spirit has worked in his life so much. So Stephen is the reason that we have church. Uh, church isn't for church people, it's for those that don't know Christ. And so I hope that Faith Church will be... Um, a church that will see the lost as their goal and their mission. And so I know that's everybody's mission, but after a while, uh, church becomes about church people. So we don't want church to be about church people. And so the Stevens of the world that come into our life are a real blessing for us. And so we have a tagline at our church and we say, go be the church. And so we hope to bring that to faith too, uh, that we are the church wherever we're at, whether it's uh, at a ball game or at school or in our classroom, um, wherever we are, that's where we're going to bring uh, the church, uh, the big C church to our community. People that we as pastors will never ever reach. Um, the, only the people that are, are in our congregations and we come in contact with, they can reach those others so they can go be the church. So that's what we hope to do, and we will see you next year, and hopefully we'll see you before that. So thanks. Say goodbye, Leo. <laughs> see ya.